with meteorologist Patrick Evans. Here's the view from the top of the Palm Springs Aerial Tramway, and I want you to know that there's a plume of blowing sand and dust right along the, cor the freeway corridor. You can see it pretty clearly here. I'll point it out uh, right there. So we've got some gusty winds. They picked up in the overnight hours. They're going to settle down. They've already dropped in velocity, but we have seen a little bit of that reduced visibility along the freeway corridor. Bear that in mind as you start your day. Temperature-wise, very comfortable. We're actually a little cooler than we were yesterday morning. A lot of 60s on the map this morning. We're at 70 in Palm Springs, but 68 in Thousand Palms, 69 in La Quinta and Thermal. It's 65 right now in Palm Desert, 67 in Cathedral City, and 71 in Indio. So we're looking at some gusty winds right along the freeway, but elsewhere around the valley as well. Cathedral City, La Quinta, fairly gusty. Uh, winds up in North Indio, up around 16 miles per hour, but over 20 mile per hour winds here in Thousand Palms. That's been consistent this morning. Wind speeds at Whitewater have dropped below 30 miles per hour, so we're starting to see these winds ease up a little bit and then they will throughout the morning hours. Fairly modest winds through the bulk of today, but the air quality is in the moderate range. We've kicked up a lot of blowing sand and dust, and so that is having an impact on visibility along the freeway as well as air quality throughout the valley. There are pockets of air quality in the good range, but for the most part, moderate, and so it's something we'll monitor. We don't want to see that air quality slip. Winds will ease into the morning hours, but we're still seeing some gusty conditions, and then tonight, in the overnight hours, we're going to see those winds pop back up. So tomorrow morning still likely to be fairly breezy. We're just in a pattern where we're getting gusty winds in the evening and overnight hours, and then they relax during the day. That's just kind of the, the pattern that we're holding on to. This will begin to change as we head into Friday, and particularly I think Saturday and Sunday, the winds back off more significantly. Friday looks fairly calm. This area of low pressure is lingering. It's pulling in some cloud cover. And there might even be a mountain showers or storm today, something we'll watch for. And you're likely to see a little increase in humidity here in the valley, but no showers for us. The futurecast data says the chance of showers is very minimal, much more likely as you head over into Arizona. Uh, but maybe you'll notice the increase in humidity, still fairly dry on the valley floor. 98 the high today, gusty morning, winds relaxing, a little breezy tomorrow uh, as we head into the morning hours. Temperatures back into the triple digits. Then we've got 90s on tap for Sunday and into early next week. We drop back down to near normal. That's what we're tracking here in our first alert forecast. We have to take a break. You're watching News Channel 3, the desert's news leader, and we'll be right back.